to be something as results event or you can take some cities okay so let's take some cities names let's say Delhi <clears throat> Okay, four cities are there and now we'll be writing the states for them so that is Delhi Alright, now the cities, the states, right? Now see. So these are the two lists right now. Now if I want to create a data frame, I have to write it something called speedy dot a data frame. DNF should be in the capital. And that is something will be looking like a data frame, not like this, right? Exactly, you have to write or pass the parameters of the uh, the function of the data frame, right? So if we go through basically with the help of pg dot the data frame will find the results over there and exactly okay two dimension mutable size is there and the parameters are data and then index columns data type okay so let's go with this now let's say df is my data frame name and i'm going to create a speedy dot data frame just a minute. Hmm. And the data I say here is to be uh, you can take dictionaries, right? Uh, here I'm going to just take cities and that's it, right? So I'll say cities. Or I'll create a dictionary over here. Only just a minute. Let's create it. I can make it like a dictionary where I'll say the cities has to be the cities, okay? And I'll say the states, this corresponding state has to be the states, that's it. And the data will be now CIT, as it is, okay? All right, and the index as mentioned can be written as anything like um, A, B, C, uh, we have taken four, so D dot this bit. That's it. So if we see on the DF, what we'll find is, so I find some cities and some states over there with the index values as A, B, C, and D and the columns of the cities and the state okay now so with the dictionaries are very important when you are dealing with the data frames dictionaries are very much important to go through okay now let's understand this now throughout this data set which is having uh, almost an element of four cross two you can say in eight so if you want to see the number of elements we can easily do like df dot the shape it is 4 plus 2 basically 4 into 2 we will multiply and get the or you can go with the df dot size it will be giving you the element right that is 8 basically hmm? now what are the index if we say that this is something called as index so what are the index if we want to look on that so we can just write df dot index and you can even go with the values index values so index values are array a, B, C, and D. Clear? Right? That's an array basically, obviously. Now, so if you only go with the df dot index, you'll find index A, B, C, and D. But when you go with the values, it gives you an array. Okay? So both things are important. So both give you results of A, B, and C. Now, uh, if you want to see same thing with the columns, you see the columns index of cities and states. These are the columns. Right, same we can go with the columns 
start the values so again an array and index i think that is clear to everyone till here i think no doubts would be there okay now if we want to look the index and the columns at a time we need to do something called as excess so here you get and you can go with the excess values too of okay it's giving you a list then it's okay no values will be getting there hmm. so it is a list where you are getting the index as well as the like the columns and all both of the things rows and the columns now see so there are some values in the first row in the second row in the third row in the fourth row or you go within the first column in the second column you have some values now we have learned in the numpy something called as transpose while uh, learning the matrix we have learned that transpose one right so df dot transpose if we say df dot transpose so you see the result something like this hmm? like this just a second someone is there so you find the results like cities over there, the states over there, and the columns becomes the uh, rows and the rows became the columns, right? So transport would work something like this. Otherwise, you can also go with the df.t and df.swap access to uh, machine, okay, access one and access two. No, leave it, leave it. So D and transpose could work while transposing anything, right? Shifting the things. And you can go with the transpose to swap accesses. Just a minute. Now if we look on to our df, it is exactly like this, right? So to all three, if we want to see some results from this one, if I want to see that, uh, like in the Mumbai city, right? Uh, Mumbai belongs to which column or which row? Right? The questions can be like similar to this. You need to understand about the data sets. This is a very small thing I have created, okay? Like this, you can create a lot of things. We'll be going through our data sets, a bit more, two, three data sets, then you'll be going through like, what are the things, okay? So, um, all right. So if I say like Mumbai belongs to which column? So easily what you can do is, in the DF, you need to find where it is equals to Mumbai. Obviously, you get some results that is true, false and all. So where you get like in Boolean results, if I talk about, you find that in the B there, it is true, right? So what you do is DF and then DF. So DF of, if you say here, like uh, cities is equal equals to Mumbai. So you get a series again you see the things now you are getting a series so as i said you yesterday that when we will be dealing with the columns of the data frames you'll be getting a series now here the name is also given right in the series when we started yesterday we saw that we need, we have to give the names now when we are dealing with the data frames the names are by default given there right because of the columns so we get some true results right and again with the complete things we can go with equals to true we're giving a bracket right so what if the values comes is equal equals to true add b right so we need to find the b we need to find the true results so we are getting it as in the b1 right so you, we need to just locate it something so we'll learn it where it is true and where it is false in which position right so there are similar terms and um, some functions which would work for this all. Okay. So what we see is like true is coming in the B. 
so only in the b or only the second row we need to go through right or you can go with the column values like right? uh, using the numpy uh, import numpy as np and then you can go with the df and like if i say for the cities so df dot cities is something having sc or c capitals there so this would be giving a series all right delhi mumbai kolkata chennai over there and now uh, you can do it like np dot an array or np dot where very simple it is a lot of functions are also there i'm going with the very simplest one np dot where the df of cities of result is equal equals to mumbai so are we going to get the results ah, false mm, okay 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 uh, just a minute so series is to an array series has no attribute to an array mm. Something is missing here. Just a minute. Something to make us having the air for cities. Alright. Hmm. Alright. very much my own F is now equals to an array. Hello, hello. Uh, yes, I'm sure I'm in class. I'll call you later. Uh, F is equals to an array. All right. It's giving you the results. Okay, okay. Very one by one. We need to find the true result exactly. Yeah, that's it. So cities of the true result where it is true. In the data frame do we have any functions for that? Um, 
be by killing there's a fill in it. Forest. Yes, that's a fill. That's a thing. F is equal to fits to Mumbai. And this is the result. Locations are not being located, right? If this is a result of a list, okay, if we remove this, we are visiting a data frame that's fine. So, df dot equals this number dot. Okay, alright, let's go with the functions there. I'll give you the results. See, so we have some better functions like I lost. We have lock, we have I at, and sorry, this is lock locations. Okay, I at, and we have at. Now, these all are just used to find up the uh, answers of the questions, like what I have given you, right? So, with the normal things, I think it would be a quite lengthy process. Let's go with the functions, it would be very, very easy. Okay, so if we look onto the DF, we can see like Mumbai is there in the second one, but still, if you want to see. Uh, what are the values of the cities and where it is equals to Mumbai, right? So here you are getting some true results and false results. Like if I say df of df equal equals to Mumbai. If we apply this to, let's see once more. Yeah, exactly. Here we can see easily the result that in the B space we are getting. So that's exactly the functions when we use will get the results. That is a different thing. Right, and you can easily locate it. Uh, cannot index with the multi dimensional keys. So we can use, uh, okay, with the locations it is not possible. Then BF of the D is equal to equals to Mumbai. Uh, it is better, right. The things I can be find out with this, right. Now, how this lock, I lock, I at, and at is working, let's see, okay. Now, throughout this data set, uh, a very small thing, right, from here, if I want to see that what is there in the second row and the second column, right, the second row and the second column. So, what is the second row? This is the first row and this is the second row. But according to the numberings, we'll say this is 0, this is 1, and this is 2 with the index values if we are going through, right. So, if I say that if we want to see the second row, then the second row would be like 0, 1, 2, right, obviously. So, 1 would be your second row. So, the second row and the second column, obviously, this 0 is 1 will be the second row, right. So, I want to look on that what is there in the second row and the second column. Okay, so how we'll do this, like df dot, if you want to look like with at, i at, sorry. When we are looking with the index so what is there in the second row and the second column so you see index to bound of the oh sorry uh, it is one sorry the column it is one second row and the second column so we find the result as maharashtra right the second row and the, the first row and the first column would be this zero and zero I at would be there, so it's giving Delhi. Hmm? Why we are using I? Because we are using the index, right? But when we don't use the index, we use normally the at. So in that places, we'll have to write like in the B, we want to look on for the what? We want to look on for the states. So we get the results like in the B, that is in the second row, if we want to look onto the states column, this is the result. Hmm? Okay. Now similar to this is locations. Locations is something when I use locate. So what I have to locate is like if I say only B. So completely the second row will be located. That is cities. That's function I'm saying you right. So cities is Mumbai states. It's Maharashtra, right? Series name is B. Data type is object. Now if you want it in a data frame kind, you have to make it 2D. So there you have to locate. 
using a 2D method like this. Okay. So there you'll be getting a data frame this time, right? Only the B corner. Okay. Now similar to this, when you use index locations, what we'll do is I log. And this would be one oh, like this. Hmm? Or you say one same results. See? All right. Any doubts till now to anyone? I hope no. All right. Fine. So let's explore the data sets, right? So I have imported something called Seaborn, right? So from there we can bring some data sets what we need to use. It, okay. So let's bring those things. Uh, so let's say we are working with the iris data set. Okay. Iris is a kind of a flower. Uh, what machine learning students will be going through in their uh, modules like we'll be doing a regression analysis using that okay, okay. so iris uh, let's load the data set so we'll be using load underscore of data set and that would be iris that's it okay so even if the data set is not in your system you can directly come through with the c ones right that is nice one so when you have data sets you have seen there are rows and there are columns right now these rows and columns can be shown like uh, when we going through the data sets there can be lot of rows and lot of columns so here it is only five and like four and two right so it is very easy to represent here like quickly okay but when it is like something called as 30,000 rows 40,000 columns like those things then in that cases you will not be getting all things right okay so uh, there you see some dotted lines over there we call it like up, the upper part as head and the lower part as the uh, tail right if you look on to the ir even see you'll find some dotted lines here and we'll call this upper part what you see zero one two three four the five part of upper one is the head and the last five what you see is the tail okay so as things you can find the ir dot head will find the top five always and the tail will be giving you the oh, sorry the last five okay so i can see here if i look on to the number of rows of this data set i'll be basically looking for the shape uh once again like the size so i'm having 750 elements over here with a shape of 150 cross Four. Is this one fifty plus five? Index is it one two three four? Yeah, five five is there. So it is having seven hundred and fifty, right? So tails and the heads. You understand what is this? Now, whenever you the heads and tails, if you write i r dot head of like uh, two three four something like this. Mm, let's say head of three. So you only will be getting the three elements if you say one you'll get one but when you say zero you will only get the column names that's it see understood and don't do negative indexing right because you'll be getting things as similar to this right the complete ir what was there you'll be getting the same things now with this like if you want to see not from the starting and not from the ending like if you want to see the middle order or you want to find any random value so you can use a function called as sample that is what we say as sample taking any part from a data set that's it any part from anywhere so we say sample so i r dot sample of let's say i want three samples so i will be getting three results see no orderness will be followed right 109 52 103 anything okay so you can take samples of any number you want. See, the orders will not be there. 
okay i think this is clear if i say zero again the same thing you'll be getting it there if i say minus one again the negative number of rows requested and see the value error will be there because only you need to provide the positive values so one sample will be giving it and samples is something called as random numbers okay so sample length petal lengths and all let's see what are these things so ir has got some columns so these are the columns or like if you want to convert this in list you can directly see the list so we have sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and the species column so basically this is a flower which is having three of the species okay and the three species what are will be looking on now so what all are the values of the species column so we can see setosa in the top virginica in the second there must be some different type within this 4 to 145 so we need to find the values and when we go with the values we find some 150 values and somewhere setosa somewhere versicolors <coughs> sorry and somewhere virginica is there right so three different values are there so for these three different values what we need to find is the unique values that is So the unique values are this, that is an array of Setosa, Versicolor and Virginica, right? So these three are the different type of the species. Now if we want to go through like how many are Setosa, how many Versicolors and how many Virginica types are been there in this data set, so we can use like df dot, I'm sorry, ir dot, the Types, value count, value counts. Mm. Uh, it's not a function. data frame we were looking on right so we need to look on for the columns for the series so i are dot the species dot the value counts so we see here that versicolor is 50 virginica 50 and setosa is 50 right so all those have the same values now in the matplotlib you would be looking that if we want to find or plot this like in the c1 also if we plot this similar to very easy sns dot count plot so we need to give the data that is the species column we need to go through and here like uh, the data from where we are taking this data we need to give this like ir so we'll see a graph which shows that this is satosa versicola and virginica and the types there is from 0 to 50 okay now we can uh, give the indexing and all like sns dot set style and we can say like white grid or whatever the things so this is a white grid of the graph and you see Fairly. Now, now the columns are there right so what are the values of the columns let's say if we say the ir these are the columns and so sepal length let's look onto the sepal length So sepal length has got some values like you see from 5.1 and also we'll be looking onto the values directly. So we see it like 5.1, 4.9, 4.7 and till 5.9 it is there, right? So there is no such order in this. 
So we need to sort these values, right? So what we'll do is sorting this complete value. This is basically an array as we know. We can see the output there is. So we'll be using np.sort. Or you can use the sort values directly in the functions to find the results. Otherwise, you can use the sortings. So it's starting from 4.3 and ending at 7.9. So in the C bound, when we'll be looking to this graph, we'll be getting a lot of things over there, right? If we just write up the things like uh, SNS dot the disk plot of this values. So there will be something getting like this. Something like this, right? So this is the values basically, right? You see the ranges. It's starting from 4.3 ending at 7.9. If you look onto the things here, don't go with the KDEs, what you're getting. Okay, let me remove the KDE for now. Alright, so only see the histogram, right? So what you find here is, it's starting from 4.3 here and ending at 7.9. Right, so things would be much better. Like you, for the machine learning students, you would be learning the C1 in your course, like coming in one, two days, right? And C1 is not there in the data science students. Matplotlib is there for you all. It will be going through Matplotlib. That will not be coming, I think, in your IBM exams. Okay. All right. Uh, so the values are there, right? Okay. See, at sometimes the values are completely at six. So we can find that where in the sepal length the values are only the six, right? If you want to count for that, right? So T uh, I R, and in the I R you need to count like in the sepal length what are the values what are the positions where there in the sepal length the values are with the 6.0 so all these are the spaces of the values basically where the sepal length values are 6.0 and you can make a lot of sorting even like if you want this and using this you can also see this like if you want to see uh, where the if we can have the values of this too. Uh, any linearity here? 6.0 and greater than 2 if we look on, okay? 6.0 and greater than 2. Here if I say the sepal width value greater than 2, let's say. So and would be there and we'll say i r dot the sepal width greater than 2.0. So again we see the values where it is, where it is. Okay, it is not there. Just a moment. Point zero is there, right? Meanwhile, you need to find this. So the simple length, simple width is there. S C B L. Okay. Greater than two point zero. What are the results should be coming there? One, two, three, and four. Should be four results, not many. Giving it a approach values on this case.
but y is not supported. This would be like this. Would be the result for 6.0 greater than 2. Point, oh, sorry. Let's see. Less than equals to 2.8. Working. So less than 2.8 is these are the three results. Okay. As many as you can give, like uh, again similar to more if you want to pass through the petal lens too. So I have dot the petal length and if you want to see like equal equals to four. So in that case it will be just equals to four and only one value would be getting. So 62 number like we can say when the sepal length 6.0 went 2.2, petal length 4.0 and petal width with 1.0, the result is a versi color, right? So you can use the bitwise operators, you can use the logical operators to find the better results from here, right? Clear? Okay, uh, let me ask you, how many are ha having doubts here till whatever we have learned? And don't go with the graphs for now, right? Because we haven't discussed the graphs. Just we, I have plotted just to show you. After leaving the graphs, how many have any doubts in any of the functions? If you're having doubts, you can ask it anything. Sir, till now we have no doubts, but I have no doubts. But once again, I'll go through. And I'll let you know if I have any doubts. Hmm. Okay, you have no doubts. Uh, anyone is having no doubts, right? Uh, see, pandas is something which you need to understand very carefully. Let me ask individually. Uh, first one is SEC section C23 Gurki Power. Okay, uh, you are having doubts? Mm, I think no one is having. Shruti and this one. Alright, see. Fine. Uh, let's proceed. So, we see all the columns here till now, right? All the values and all. Okay. Now, let's go through one data set. Uh, just a minute, let me upload it. Now, see guys, this was a data set what we even don't have, we can just print it, right? Now, let's go through some data sets, what is there, what we will be uploading and we'll go through. Now, we are going to explore the data set of IPL, okay? Now, we will be dealing with the things what we will be uploading it now, right? So, what I will be doing is, I will be giving like pd dot, so it is a CSV file, so I will be taking it as pd dot read CSV. Now, what name it is? It's IPL.CSV. Now, for me, what it is, right? Uh, like in my, if I share this tab, I'll find that uh, here in the directory, in my directory, I have this data set here, right? Which I have uploaded just now, some seconds ago. Okay. So I can just write IPL.CSV. Otherwise, if you are uh, like um, uploading any file, which you haven't uploaded there in your directory, what you can do is you can go with the paths of them, right? Like, um, let me show you the so downloads and you can find IPNVB. No, no, fine. 53B info. 
so it is there from no where it is where it is yeah like if you don't upload the things how can you write it like this okay so like in the users in your username and then in the download and then give the hyphen and then write the file name and then like this and before all these write r so that is reading the complete directory okay and if you have uploaded it then it's not like a much use of writing all these things so you can simply go through like writing this ipl.csv and if you don't know even like which directory you are working you can just write import os and then os dot get cw d current working directory so this is my current working directory like right? users and my usernames and fabrica workshops now work and ibm trainings and all so there is my current working directory this is and if you want to change your directory you can change from here even like you os dot chdir you can use this for this changing your directories okay all right so now my df is something like this which is having lot of rows lot of columns much greater than the above one 150 greater than 150 right so i have a uh, over some columns over there and some um, rows so how many rows are there uh, till here i can see 636 rows okay now so whatever the data sets when you uh, read it through in your from your system so whenever you are going with any data sets or when you are making some projects you just see that the very first thing for your data set is for getting the info. So when you go with the info, you'll get the completely information or complete information of your data sets. Okay. So like let's say df.info of serial number, season, city, date, team 1, team 2, toss winners and all these things are nothing but the columns. Right. The very first thing it says that the range index, that is index range start from 636. I'm oh, sorry has 6, 636 starts from 0 and at 635 okay 18 columns are there total and the column names are there and non-null count is there non-null is something like where it gives you that uh, there are this much number of non-null numbers if null is there that means that there is not a number nine numbers okay so i see that 635 in the first umpire and 635 in the second umpire and in the last one is zero non-null okay so that means that uh, here are some missing numbers otherwise everything are non-null right so here is some one or things zero and the data types have been given there okay a memory usage is there okay you can find the memory user like this also like if it is vf dot memory usage and every columns memory usage you will be getting it like if you want index equals to true you can write index in the column Parameters are there. If you write index equals to 2, you will also get the index users also. So, index users also has been there, right? So, index 128 and serial number, the smart city, and all these things, okay? Cool. Now, so uh, let's have a sample of this. Let's understand what is there. So, we have a serial number, uh, any smaller one? Okay. So this is a match of 2008, season of 2008, a match between Mai and Delhi, uh, Delhi Devils, like Daredevils is there, 25-5-2008, toss winner DD and the decision forced to the fielding, bowling and then the result was normal, DL applied no, winner was DD, win by runs 0, win by wickets 5 and man of the match was Kira Dinesh Karthik, okay. Venue is there, first umpire, second umpire, and this column, what I can see is there, nan, nan, as I saw there, that zero non null objects were there. So I don't need this column basically. So what I'll do is I will be removing it, right? So df in the brackets, I'll be writing this, and this is basically remove. So delete this, that's it, right? And I'll look on to my df dot sample again sorry and i find the things okay now this is the another sample what i can see 
and now I will only have the values okay till the second umpire right so let's explore the very small things today okay and from tomorrow we'll be exploring uh, with the more things like tomorrow we'll be starting with the graphs with the pandas okay tomorrow we'll be having pandas small test okay so uh, see if I want to see that how many teams has participated in this IPL uh, or like how many seasons data we are having 2008 right so let's explore the season column so what we will do is uh, df dot season dot values so we see a lot of season values obviously 636 will be coming so we need the unique values you can directly write the set because set also gives you the unique values so it gives 2008 to 2017 and so uh, just a minute you can also use the unique to function and dot size basically gives you so 10 seasons data you are having okay 2008 to 2017 so till there in the last 10 from 2008 to 17 how many teams has participated so we can find in the team one because in IPL every team one get a chance to play with the team two every team right so we can find the number of teams in the team one even like if we go with the team one dot unique so we find KKR, CSK, RR, MI, DC, KXI, PR, CBD, D, KTK, PW. I think KTK is the Kerala ones, PW for Pune Warriors and all. Okay. Ah, okay. And which is the most successful teams, like uh, which will be having like more number of times winning in the IPL, right? Not even the finals, every matches. How we count the winners, right? Not only with the final matches like that's a different part okay but when we uh, say the winners like with this record if we say which team is the most successful what we'll see that the column of the winner here which team has won for the most number of times here in the winner sections right sir so every matches has a winner right so the team which has won most number of times will be the best team right so we can go with the df dot winner df dot winner and we'll be going through the value counts So uh, we see, just a minute, we see the top team MI has won for 92 times any games, right? MI has played some games and has man like won for 92 times. So how many matches still uh, did MI has played and all through will be doing tomorrow, right? So I, this is better, right? So if you want to see the top three teams here, I can use the indexing here and you can see MI, CSK and KKR like the things, okay? So we'll be exploring this tomorrow a uh, lot more. So I think no doubts would be there till now, right? Uh, okay.